What's good, YouTube? I got an extremely rare build for y'all. This is going to be a hybrid defender. You heard that right. A hybrid defender. And this is going to be a pure lockdown, but you could do a little bit more than that. And you're going to have a lock take. You're going to have a rim take. Really just some all around heat. You could guard ball, even if they come with the smaller PGs and everything. But we're going to go small four. You want to go six, seven on this build. Your weight, you're going to take that down to 198. And the wingspan, you want to max this out, bro. So you're going to go seven, four. And it's a couple reasons you want to max the wingspan out. I'm going to let y'all know why. Body shape, we're going to go define. You could really go build it, bro. I probably would go build on this one. If for a fact. So jumping right into the defense. The steal rating, you want to max this out, bro. Go 99. That's going to give you this Hall of Fame glove and Hall of Fame interceptor. Y'all know glove is going crazy right now, bro. Like, people's getting steals at will with just gold glove on, bro. You feel me? So Hall of Fame glove is way better. I wouldn't say way better because gold is really up there, but it's noticeably better, bro. It's easier to get the steals. And you definitely going to want to throw that on 99, bro. So we're going to max out the perimeter. And you see how many badges you get in the Hall of Fame, bro. Like, this is really just some pressure. And we actually going to have enough defensive badges to throw them tier threes on, bro. Like, you feel me? You could equip all your tier threes. But max your block out. You want to go 87. So this is one of the reasons why we went with the max wingspan. You get the silver anchor badge right here. If you went with the 7-3 wingspan, you wasn't going to get it. And the perimeter, you actually was going to get a lower uh, perimeter if we went down on the wingspan too. So we good right here. You got 21 so far. We definitely getting more though, bro. You feel me? I don't even worry. We're going to put the interior up. Put that up to 87. And really, you could take it down to 83. But I probably would want to have it maxed out, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You could, uh, is if we made if we made this a little bit different, we could get the uh, the gold post move lockdown. But you wanted to get the Hall of Fame clamps over the post move lockdown, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you. And you could put the silver. Like a lot of people don't even use it, bro. You feel me? So I know a lot of y'all gonna be good. We're going to put the defensive rebound up. 93. And you see what 93 is giving you, bruh. Like, not just the rebound chaser. You get in gold pogo. You feel me? You got less important. You feel me? Like, your box and everything like that. But, bruh, that gold pogo, you definitely want to put that up, bruh. You feel me? So, we're going 93. And for your offensive rebound... You want to go 70. That's giving you 31 defensive badges. And we could get a couple more right here, bro. I'm not even going to lie. I know you could get at least one more. We're we going to come back to that stat, though, bro. I ain't going to gas it. Because we're going to lead us at 87. But with 31, you perfectly fine, bro. You could equip all your tier threes. And I'm going to show you all exactly what they equip, bro. We're going to go to the finishing. Hold on, we're going to put the strength up too, though. Put your strength up. You're going to max that out at 70. And your vert, you're going to put this at 75, bruh. And you feel me? We're going to get into the finishing. But 70 strength, trust me, bruh. I got 70 strength. I got 69 strength on one of my builds. On my smaller PG, bruh. You feel me? Yeah, bruh, yo, I get stops in the paint. Like, like you feel me? Like when people trying to slash on me and anything, bruh. I get... Like, yo, I'm, I'm going to break it down a little further, you feel me, in another video. I ain't going to hold you, but I get I get stops, bro. Like, like really, like, bump animations, bro. And, like, like I could take them out of their dunk animation or their layup animation and anything like that, even if it's a lot bigger build, bro. So, I know for a fact this is a valid strength rating. And we're going to get into the finishing on this build, yeah, for a fact. So... You got 70 strength. We're not going for the bully badge. You're going to want to go 86 on the driving dunk. You definitely don't need it, bro. But what 86 is giving you, 
you get in the pro contact dunks right here at 84 85 they give you that silver posterizer then you get the gold limitless takeoff bruh at 86 so you definitely want to upgrade that 72 right here on your driving layup and your close shot we're gonna put this at 75 so we get in 14 finishing badges 75 close shot is good enough bro like you could this build is really so versatile bro because <laughs> you could play the lockdown in a wreck but then you feel me when you're in the park you could play the big slash lockdown and everything bro you feel me depending on how y'all playing but a lot of times in the park you will get put at the at the uh, three you feel me so with having these ratings and the defensive rebound offensive rebound anything like that and you still got interior bro you in a perfect position bro you feel me we gonna yeah we gonna go to the shooting but for your finishing you is gonna wanna you is gonna wanna add a couple badges on really just two now nah, you can add three you feel me if you want to core that gold limitless takeoff bro but you feel me you can add maybe just one badge if you only want to throw if you want to put like bronze posterizer on then bronze limitless takeoff yeah you could go with 15 just add one badge point but you really want to add two or three bro you feel me so you can use the limitless takeoff depending on what level you want that on though bro posterizer i definitely would go silver but on to the shooting we're gonna put your three ball up you go in 77 and you want to go 69 right here you got 15 shooting badges put your free throw up real quick with 15 though you bro you're gonna shoot perfectly fine you don't gotta add another badge on you feel me because you already got the 15 bro <laughs> you feel me you just need to equip 10 right here and then you could throw bronze blinders on bronze limitless range or bronze agent three you're not really going to be handling the ball on this build so agent three nah we're going to leave that alone on this one bro but the free throw put this at 77 and again this is a pure lockdown bro you feel me but you do got the contact dunks that's going to help a lot that close shot that's going to help out you feel me after you grab a board and everything and try to go up but you feel me we gonna go to no nah, hold on not the speed with bar bro the pass act first you feel me throw that up put that on 70. you getting the silver needle threader ball handle we gonna put this up to 61. so put that up to 61 and yeah your speed with bar actually gonna go to 37. yeah for a fact so Again, you're not going to be handling the ball on this build. This is a pure lockdown. If you want to put a little more ball handle on, you could. But you see, we actually getting the vice grip badge. The only other thing was maybe unpluckable, but you really just don't need that badge, bro. Because, like, it's, it's for dribbling and it's getting plucked right now. <laughs> like, bro, you feel me? Like, it don't even work like that. But definitely want to throw on a vice grip you actually gonna want to core this bro so a lot of people i know a lot of people don't even think about it it's a little early in the game i know a lot of people don't even have all their badges cored and everything or you feel me ready to core but you can core these tier one and tier twos bro you feel me even if you don't get nothing in tier three or if you like say you got a hyper drive on hall of fame bro and that's worth six points versus one of your tier threes on bronze. You feel me? That's five points. You would definitely want to core that six point badge, bro. You feel me? So even if you're not coring the tier three, just pay attention to that, bro. You feel me? It's going to save you some badges. But you don't want to core the vice grip, equip your bailout, and then from there, it's really whatever you want to throw on. I'm not even going to lie. But you will have uh, five extra playmaking badges left. Your speed, we're going to put this up. Going 87. And your stamina. I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For a fact, we good right here. So you could you could rock out like that. Or you could take down, you could take down your, uh, your interior. 
drop that down to 83. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that don't even get you up to 80, bro. So you feel me? You ain't even gonna worry about that, bro. Let's put that back up to 87. And you feel me, we good right here. Again, you got the lock and the rim tape. Probably go perimeter badge drop. Or you could go extreme clamp. Nah, yeah, I, I would definitely go uh, perimeter badge drop. Cause the way shooting is, <laughs> you feel me, the badge is crucial. We gonna put on the rim tape, pain intimidation, and this fire right here, bro. You could go like extreme, like enhanced jump shot contest and everything if you want to. But we good right here. You got shades of Paul George and OG. Gerald Wallace. My big girl going crazy down there. We gonna max this out real quick. So we gonna put on, all right, so I'm gonna show y'all what, what to put on. So you definitely wanna add two badges on finishing. Put on your Rise Up, Fearless Finisher. I would say, I would say you wanna put that on, but you really don't have to. I honestly would put on Fast Twitch before I put that on. Giant Slayer, that's actually gonna hit for you. And hold on, we, we need four more. Area Wizard for three on bronze, bruh. I'm kind of good on that, bruh. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, I, I definitely would trust the Fearless Finisher before I trust the Area Wizard. Just because you just don't need it, bruh. You feel me? But once you equip them 10, you could core one of these. But you feel me? We don't got them extra badge points on, so... We're going to throw on core that. But yeah, at this point, you, you could just throw on the area wizard, you feel me? But maybe a post badges onto your shooting. Amp, you want to put that on silver, guard up. And you is gonna be able to shoot on this build, bruh. Like, you feel me? You you don't got a super low three ball and you actually got enough badge points. Equip those. Corner specialist, you could equip that. I'll probably, oh yeah, yeah, catch and shoot. Take that down to bronze. Throw that on bronze, you feel me? So you good right there. Not agent three, but blinders. Core that, then equip the limitless range. You feel me? If you if you shoot it from out there though, bro. Like, nah, hold on, hold on, nah, nah. I'm tweaking, bro. Yeah, we not gonna throw the limitless range on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Green machine, we gonna up that. Catch and shoot, we gonna up that. You feel me? And the volume shooter, we gonna throw that on gold or Claymore, bro. Throw that on gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a fact. Very important badge, bro. Definitely want to throw Claymore on. And we good right here. Thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a fact, we good. On to your playmaking. Bailouts, you want to have that. Fight grip, you want to have that on silver. And you could probably put on your dimer for your squad. Oh yeah, hold on, we supposed to core this. A hey, core device grip. Yo, wait till we get to the defensive badges, bruh. <laughs> this is really about to go crazy. Needle threader, you could probably put that on. Dimer, I definitely would put that on. Huh? Yeah, you good right there, you good. Yeah, 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 you good. So on to the defensive badges, bruh, see. This is some pressure right here. Throw anchor on silver. You want to put chase down. My fault, I'm burping and anything. You want to put uh, chase down on gold. Or you, you could put it on silver. You feel me to start, I ain't even gonna lie. But you got eight right there. Put on your pogo. Pig dodger. 
We got more than 10 equipped. We about to... Yeah, hold on. All right, so let's let's core these, bro. <laughs> you feel me? So Clint's Hall of Fame, you definitely want to core that. You got 21 badge, le badge points left. You go gold, gold, you feel me? Go right there. And that's literally perfect, bro. You feel me? You still got the pig dodger. You could probably take anchor down if you want to, but you're going to want to add two finishing badges on and the rest defense, bro. I'm not even going to hold you. You got enough shooting badges for a pure lock. Playmaking, you do not need more, bro. You feel me for what you're going to be doing? But you want to add at least one, two, three extra badge points onto defense using your, uh, like, you're going to have a total of five off rip. You feel me going out of my career and becoming a starter and then hitting level 39 and everything. So that's five, bro. Two for finishing, three for defense. You feel me? Then you can switch it up if, a little bit if you want to, like, raise your pick dodger and anything like that. Definitely feel you on that. But fire build, bro, and the defense is crazy. I'm going to hit y'all in the next one, though. Just hit that like button for me. Hit that sub button.